for once we're not lost in mortal combat. Besides, why? <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Uh, my name is Mike Kelly from AnimatorsForum.com and from the Real Illusion Forum. Um, so, somebody asked me in a private email if uh, they could use or how how they would use the uh, Midnight Skeleton from Daz. This is this is the Gen three version, but the the Gen eight version, I think, is identical. I actually didn't load it up and look at it, but. Uh, I'll, I'll, and I will, just to make sure. But uh, So here's the Gen 3 version, and this is how you, how you can use it. And you can see he's talking, and, and his eyes uh, are, are expressing some emotion as much as, as much as a skull can express emotion. Uh, I think he's pretty emotive, actually. So how do we do all this? Okay, well, it involves a couple of steps, and it's kind of useful even if you're not using this particular... Uh, model from Daz because many of the same principles are applied no matter what you use. So first things first, this is the skeleton in, uh, in Daz. And what you do here is by selecting the head, you go to the pose controls and you can see all the different things that this, this uh, skeleton can do. And it has these brows that you can, you can change the brows and, and move the brow positions up and down. Uh, and I think there's, and there's some mouths uh, mouth open, and then there's a smile and a frown. So there's a few things that you can do here that match up to what you need in order to make the skull expressive inside of iClone. So the first thing we do is we bring up Exchange. Oops, bring up Exchange. This is over here. And uh, this is actually the completed version, but I'm not going to go through all of this. So I'm just going to go through how we would start with this. So we're going to import the basic skeleton, which is, uh, where did I call it? Midnight skeleton. Okay, so we're going to import this basic skeleton, which is the, the starting position. And all I did from here was export this skeleton from Daz with all of these controls turned all the way down. So, you know, all of this, all of these are zeroed out on these pose controls here. Exported it as the midnight skeleton, and it comes in Daz, uh, Daz 3D Exchange number seven. Kind of important to know this versions because as the versions evolved and got better, uh, they uh, provided us the ability to automatically convert. So here, it automatically understands that the rigging is the Genesis 3 rigging. The vertex counts don't match the Genesis 3 figure. And we've talked about this a little bit in some other videos, just so you understand. Uh, the reason we can't bring this in under Character Creator is because the only way we can remap it to a character creator three uh, figure is if the vertex counts uh, match perfectly, and they don't. This has a Genesis rigging, a Genesis three rigging, which is why you can use some of those Genesis uh, clothing items in Daz, but you cannot remap it to the character creator character. So you have to bring it into 3D Exchange as a non-standard, non-standard talking character, which is what we want to do. So we bring that in, a non-standard talking character, and it automatically makes these. Uh, mapping for us, but we don't want to do this. We don't want to apply the material settings. We want to leave the materials alone because obviously it's just a skeleton. Okay, so what did it do? Well, it actually mapped everything for us. It actually converted it to a non-standard character. Did it just fine, which is what we wanted it to do. It did all the, the mapping of the bones. The only thing it didn't do is it didn't map the jawbone, and we do need to map that. We want to map the jawbone because we want to have the jaw open and closed. So to do that, we go into this facial bone mapping, and we select the jawbone, and we always want to make sure that it's the right bone. So if we ah, 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 select the jawbone, and then we go to, ah, come on, where am I? Here. Here we go, up here. And with the jawbone selected, we make sure it's the right bone by, okay, so that's the bone we want. So that is the correct bone to manipulate the jaw back and forth. So we always, we always want to do that to make sure. So once we do that, then we can go up here and map to the jaw. We just do that. And that's really all we have to do. And then we just convert it. And so that makes that jawbone control his, uh, his talking when you do that. Then the other thing we need to do is go to the expression editor. And we add the morphs in for those various conditions. But there's a little, little tricky thing to this. I want to show you this. So what we would do is we go to Daz. 
and we go into, for example, the mouse smile, and we make it smile all the way, 100%, and then we export this, call it mouse smile, but we can't just bring this in as a, as a morph here. It would be nice if we could, but if we tried to do that, if we just brought in this uh, mouth smile here like this, you'll see what happens is as a, um, as a morph, it actually changes the position of the rest of the skeleton. So for example, if we go to this mouth smile, see how the, the skeleton moves like that? That's because the pose changes when it converted it to a non-standard character makes the, makes the thing move itself. So we can't do it that way. So what do we do? Well, what we have to do, unfortunately, is we have to go into each and every one of those exports that we did. And I think I have, I think I have about 10 of them that I exported all the different... Uh, if we look at here, and I'll show you what we have here. If we go to exports, so we go to... So we have... Uh, the smile, we have the raise, the outer uh, eyebrows, left and right, raise inner eyebrow, uh, eyes, left and right, then just the regular raise eyes and drop eyes, frown, pucker, and that's an open. So, so we have all of those. So what we had to do is we had to load each and every one of these into Exchange, one at a time, let them convert just like we saw, and then we go to File, and then we do Export, under three, and then Export the FBX from there. And doing that will then bring in an FBX model that then is correct. So then when we do that, then we're going to add that converted one. So there's the converted one. Now when, when we add that, because it was converted from the uh, rigged position inside of 3D Exchange, it won't affect the, um, the change. So you'll notice it does that. And see, it only affects the mouth. You can see how it only affects that mouth there. And... Um, so the other thing we have to do is after we've added all those, I'm not I'm not going to go through all these because, like I say, I don't want to uh, I don't want to waste your time. And there's a there's about ten of them here when they when they go in. But but you're going to put bring them all in. Mouth drop, brow drop. I mean, then you're going to go to the expression editor here. Expression editor it takes a while. And then the first thing we want to do is the jaw position. So we select the jaw. This is that drop jaw. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, the jawbone itself, again, with the rotation, and we're going to drop, drop it all the way like that. So then we're going to do a head, and we're going to set that. And that sets it for all of the downward things. The same for leftward. We're going to, we're going to rotate it left and set that, and then and rightward to rotate it right. So we, we do all that. We, we set all those things. And you have to hit set after each one of those, or it won't take, so don't forget. And then the last thing we do is we go to the muscle groups, and these are the ones that we can and we can export. And so we can export these these eight ones. We could do the raise inner left, raise inner right, the raise outer left, raise outer right. We can do the drop, uh, the drop, and the raise. That's the only ones we can do of these muscle groups. So what we do there is so for example here we have the brow drop right. So we go to the brow drop right, and then we just uh, bump it up all the way 100 percent. And then we always hit set. We always have to hit set on there. And we do that for, for all eight of those things, and then we're all done with that. And then we export the whole thing. And that's basically all we do. We just export the Tyclone, and that's what we end up here. And uh, the rest of it's rigged, so this is just the, uh, this is just a, a motion. When I went into content, and it just, uh, I apply the regular avatar motions to this, and it works just as fine as anything else. And the same for the facial expressions, as much as he can emote his face. So that's about it, and that would be very similar to other uh, non-standard characters that have those similar facial morphs that you can apply, and uh, you too can have your Halloween skeletons talking and uh, creeping people out. Okay, hope this helps, and we'll see you around the forums.